Hello guys, welcome back to another Emperor tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fill out the bug report for GitHub. So we'll be covering that today in a very short, um, instructive video. So first thing that we want to do is go to the URL GitHub dot com slash mcrater and once you're there then what you want to do is find the repository called mcrater uh, this will be a public repository and then what you want to do is click on that once you're there go to issues at the top navigation part and then you want to open a new uh, issue. So once you've done that, uh, make sure to actually get a few things done before you do that. Check to see if the issue is already open. If there is a any information on the knowledge base, so anything in the Emperor Wiki or anything that has been posted. You might also want to ask your question on the forums if it's more of a question related thing. Um, now, if it is a bug and you have done all those other things, then you want to get started. So click on that button, give it a title, which should be something that represents the issue well and can be easily identified as what the issue is. Then give the description. Now, if you have any screenshots or video links that you want to include to show what the issue is, then you can basically drag and drop the uh, image into the actual box here. You can just attach it directly. Now that's for any of the boxes, but this is where you would end up putting the images. If you have a video link, then you want to basically create a link, uh, put a title in it, in that in the score brackets, and then also add your link into where it says URL. Now that will create a link for the video. Make sure that video is at least unlisted or public for if you're uploading it onto YouTube. Uh, this will allow the developers to see it. If it is private or anything else, then it will basically be prevented from any access. So make sure that the right permissions for the video is set up. Uh, in this box for the issue description, provide as much detail of the issue as you can. The more information, the better, uh, because there is going to be a lot of troubleshooting and stuff like that that devs have to actually try figuring out. And the more it, information that you do provide of what, how the bug is basically acting and what causes the bug to act can actually help the developers speed up that process. So under the how to repro reproduce the issue, make sure to give a step-by-step -step system of what needs to be done in order to reproduce it. Um, this is required, so make sure that you narrow down your issue before you report the bug. Uh, in some cases, there it will be really easy to reproduce. In others, it might take a lot longer to figure out and you might not be able to figure it out at all. Um, try to get it down to the basics of what happens in the issue and give a step-by-step -step process of what needs to be done like creating a element uh, setting a certain setting and then you know testing a game you know like step-by-step -step thing process of doing that under the operating system uh, you'll want to select what kind of operating system you're on so depending on if it's Windows Macintosh Linux or something other um, then you'll want to select that particular one. The details for mCrater, the mCrater version. So basically we're currently on 2022.2, um, soon three, but uh, we'll be, uh, you want to basically say mCrater and then the version, and then you want to basically specify what version of Forge um, that you're currently running for that version. So in the most recent update though I usually work on 1.18 forge so any of my issues would be under that particular version uh, for 2022.2 but uh, this will vary depending on what update you're actually working on and um, any other information that you might provide uh, example workspace this is basically just a place where you can upload your workspaces. Now I highly recommend not uploading your actual mod. Uh, this won't actually help the developers whatsoever if you just directly upload your mod. Also it makes your mod public 
for anyone else to basically grab your modification and basically use it for their own. So I highly don't suggest doing that. Um, what you want to do is in Amp Creator, what you want to do is go to your workspace and then go export workspace to shareable zip under the file tab. So once you've done that, it's going to uh, export a zip file, which you can upload to this thing. Now you want to create a new workspace and set up the part that is causing the issue in that particular workspace alone. Um, you can use just general textures or anything like that. It doesn't have to be something from your mod as long as it's basically covering the mechanics of what's causing the issue. Uh, from that, it shouldn't be a complex mod. It should be simple. It should only have a few elements that are causing the issue or are relative to the issue. And then you want to upload that as your example workspace. Uh, logs, if you have a crash report or anything like that, you want to basically drop and drag the the M Creator log or the console log from your Minecraft workspace. So again, if you have a crash or something like that or an error, what you want to do is go to Open Workspace Folder, which is under the Workspace tab, and then you want to go to Run, and then Logs, and then there will be some logs in here. Generally, the last session that you've basically run the game from will be the latest version it'll be listed latest.txt so you want to basically select that one and then give it to the developers now if it's a really long log um, it basically says to upload it to uh, github gist but it, i have noticed that if it's a really long log that is like really long and how many lines there are it will cut off at a certain point, so it's not a bad idea to actually include the actual log file itself, just in the case that the issue happened at towards the end of the file. Uh, with that being said, the last thing that you actually need to do is basically check the three boxes down here. Make sure that the, again, the issue is not already reported. Uh, before you check that first box and that you have checked the knowledge base and M creator wiki um, for any relative issues that this your issue could be and once you've done those two check boxes and you have covered those two things make sure to go ahead and click the third one just basically accepting that you you have you understand the publishing guidelines and stuff like that and then this box down here will unlock and then you'll be able to submit your issue outside of that that's all that it is uh, for basically reporting it if they cannot report the issue then they'll just close it uh, if it becomes relevant again then they might reopen it um, and basically go ahead and continue working on the uh, issue as a bug report outside of that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out